Um, another fantastic job in this. My goodness. Thank and you. I first of all, I want to start by asking you, what are your earliest memories of Superman? Um, well, I didn't, you know, dress up and, and you know, I think a lot of boys did that. Um, I remember watching it in the, um, saw it at the movie theater, and then it was on TV a lot. So, um, <clears throat> I remember, and I saw it not too long ago, maybe like five, six years ago on television, and it was um, when he, like, rescues the puts the car on top of his head, and just how em kind of emotionally intense it was. Yeah. Um, I, speaking of emotionally intense, I found this, this movie emotionally intense. That's there great. There some great moments in it. And I was wondering, you know, when you got the script and you read it, was there something that kind of surprised you or moved you? Maybe? Yeah, well, I, um, um, I was doing a play at the time, and, uh, you know, getting parts in movies like this, so, like a decision by committee, and... Um, I just heard that they were interested in me for the part, and that went on for months. And then uh, I was like, I really want to read it. And they're like, no, they're not letting anyone read the script. And <clears throat> then I got cast, and I said, well, can I read it first? And they're like, no, you have to say yes without reading it, which was like, wow. I was like, well, I can't really turn this down. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> I read it, and uh, someone flew in after dropping it off for Mr. Spacey to read in London, they flew from Australia oh. to London, then to New York, and waited outside as I read it in a cafe. Top so, secret or what? Ah, yeah, that was like a movie in and of itself. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> I read it <clears throat> in one sitting, and uh, I really liked it. I thought it was deep movie, had a really good message. I love the character of uh, Superman as a superhero. He's really <clears throat> moral. Why do you think he's sustained all these years? Why is he such a beloved character? Um, <clears throat> Hold on, let's no drink some water. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> An improv moment by Parker Posey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good <laughs> reflexes. That was good. <laughs> wow. We're using that. We are using that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It's just my gin. I, hey, listen, um, I'll take a sip after. <laughs> he can fly, you know? And I love how this movie um, is... Uh, I love all the flying shots of him, and I love how he flies. It's, it's more like a bird then um, I think they're able to do that now with what they can do with the uh, CGI. And he kind of, you know, how birds fly, they just kind of like float and they move a little wing and they go <sighs> And he can, um, he does that and he just kind of centers himself as he like jumps up into the sky and mm -hmm. he's kind of doing a little bit of yoga or something. And, and um, you get to fly with him. And it's lonely. And he has a, he has a, a a mission. He's got something he has to do for the world, and <clears throat> it's good. Um, I think it's a good time for this movie um, to kind of get into the consciousness again yeah. about doing things for good. And there's not a lot of violence in here. It's a the um, it's an emotional movie <clears throat> dealing with love, romance. I love the uh, the triangle with James Marsden in love with. With Kate, um, with Lois, who's in love with Superman, but not with Clark Kent, and like it's fun. I love all that 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 stuff. It's just classic. Um, and then we have Kitty and Lex, and Kitty is in love with Lex, and she, you know, I just see her waiting for him to be the great guy that uh, she fell in love with, but she fell in love with someone that wasn't him. And she has a great ha great uh, outfits. Now, mm -hmm. did you have a part of that? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I came, I uh, went to Australia a couple of weeks before we started shooting to, like, do the wardrobe. And Louise, uh, our costume designer, had, um, a, like, a full-on huge basement of vintage clothes from, like, costume docks. And we were able to, like, put things on and design each kind of scene because it's a lot of wealth, you know. It's a lot of money. Like, they want 
money so they can have power, so they can live this life of luxury and, you know, they live on a yacht and, you know, it's all of that <clears throat> at the Van Der Werth Mansion, like Kitty's in some riding outfit, you know, she's never ridden a horse and, you know, that she is, uh, likes to think of herself in this kind of yeah. castle-like, you know, life yeah. and this romantic kind of pretty things and Fabergé eggs and yeah. little, like, princess things and she's really um, delusional. And going toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like Kevin Spacey, I mean, that must have been a, a highlight for you, I would think, being able to act with that guy. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, you know, he was Lex. It was like, you know, just add water and uh, go on to set and start. So um, <clears throat> he's very focused and <clears throat> in character. And um, yeah, so that was, um, that was fun. But it started with the kind of look, you know, I wanted, I wanted Kitty to have this kind of, you know, she looks, you know, he loves wigs, and you see that shot of all his wigs, and wanted her hair to look like a wig all the time, and um, what she does to please her man, and yeah. it's like kind of creepy and sad and tragic, and and she's got a nice arc, and she comes to, Absolutely. she gets a glimpse of herself, and that she can have some responsibility for her life, because yeah. she's just kind of lost in this um, waiting I have for, to for legs him. to be, you know, yeah. someone that he's just not. I Sorry, but I do have to get one clip in but for your consideration. I'm sure. so looking forward to this film. What's it like to be a part of this group and just to be kept asking to do these films? How exciting is that for you? It's, um, <clears throat> yeah, I love, I love those people. So, just like, can't believe it. You sit around and, and just listen to all these funny people and the ne the new movie for your consideration there's a movie within the movie called Home for Purim which is a period film set in 1945 um, my mother played by Catherine O'Hara is dying around uh, on the Purim holiday in the south in Valdosta Georgia so it's southerners with Yiddish wow. thrown in and um, we um, there was a script of, of the movie so we were actors were playing actors acting in a film so um, that was really it was fun it's, it's gonna be a little different than the other movies because the the camera wasn't handheld it was always stationary be and the interviews are done like this is right now like through press and um, you know EPK stuff um, but everyone's back there's like 30 of us it's a huge cast we have makeup artists, publicists, marketing people, screenwriters, producers, um, and it's about what happens when um, there is the possibility of an Academy Award nomination. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm sorry, my light's blinking. I could talk to you forever. I just cannot wait.